Hey guys, welcome back to Skillari. And today we are going to know about four things that each and every coder should be knowing about. Now, specifically, it's not only about the coder, but if you are someone who wants to belong to the IT industry, these are the four things that you should be knowing about. So let's get started with the video. The first thing is our database. Knowledge about database is very important. Each and every industry from small, medium, large, whatever sector, however big companies you are looking for, each one of them are using database as some format or not. Each company is producing massive amount of data and for storing that massive amount of data, we need database. Let's say uh, you take an example of Zomato. If you are uh, ordering some food from Zomato, so uh, you are, let's say you are ordering dumplings from Zomato, then you being a person ordering this from the location of some place, okay, let's say you are from Chennai. So you being from Chennai ordering dunk dumplings, so this all of these information will be stored in your database. So all of these data should be managed by people for which we have data concentric roles. But what we need to care about is database, how important database is. So learning about database is the first and foremost thing that each coder or anyone who wants to belong to the IT industry should be looking upon. Even doctors and medical professionals and even educators use database system. So indeed, you would be hard pressed to find a business that does not use a database system. Moving on to the next thing, the next thing is version control. Now, if you haven't heard about version control, this is a time to know a, or just to have a glimpse about it. So when we code out, let's take an example of WhatsApp. WhatsApp being rolling out updates. So we have WhatsApp 0.1 as version 1, 0.2 and 0.3. Okay. so. WhatsApp, what they did, they rolled out the first update that was 0.1, then they rolled out 0.2, and then they rolled out 0.3. They find out after used by a couple of users, it has been found that this is unstable. So this is quite unstable and buggy. So what WhatsApp will do is it will move back to the previous stable version. So a new update will come. So after this, a new update will come, which will just move the system back to 0.2 update. How is all of these done? Using version control. What version controls does is it tracks the changes we made in our code. So let's say in day one, you did something, you created a circle, you created a circle. In day two, uh, you created a rectangle. Then day three, you created a triangle. So all of these will be stored with different versions. This might be 0.1 version. This might be 0.2. This might be 0.3. And if you find that you want to roll back to any particular uh, segment, which you uh, version, which you feel that is much stable, then you can just roll it back. Some famous version controls we have Git. For Git, we have different uh, repository systems like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket is there. So it's on you, whichever you want to get started with. Just started with uh, any of the version control, which is uh, available in the quite famous in the market. Just start with Git and GitHub. That will be enough for you. The next thing is Stack Overflow. If you are a coder, if you have been coding for, I guess, a few time, few years or few months for now, or few days eventually, you will be knowing the importance of Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a question answer website. So whenever you face any kind of error, so let's say you are coding out, you are coding something and you get some error. So the next thing you are going to do is uh, previously what you could do is go to somewhere, go follow out books, follow out journals to check out what error, if there is any syntax error or if there is any logical error. Now what all you can do is you can just go into Stack Overflow and search out for the error. And uh, It's a community where there are different coders who answer your solution or uh, there will be previous solutions also so stack overflow is a website it's a question and answer please uh, question and answer website where uh, all of your errors can be answered out even you can answers to previous qu uh, different questions from different coders the last and one of the most important thing is linkedin so linkedin is a professional networking place so it's quite like an social media platform okay so you can get job referrals you can get uh, connection you can get connected with various people in google yahoo or any um, microsoft fang whatever fang company you are looking for 
so i still remember that getting my first job was from linkedin i got connected with some person with x company and i got offers from that company he referred me over there and things got much easier for me so going to a company directly let's say you want to apply for zomato okay so recently zomato launched an ipo so i'm just talking much more about zomato these days so you want to apply for a sd role in zomato so what you can do is zomato created a pool where they will be needing 12 sd okay and for this 12 vacancies there will be 10000 or let's say thousands thousands of people applying for that okay so for 12 jobs we have uh, thousand people just think about it just uh, 12 by 1000 just think about it what will be your probability what will be your ratio over there so what you can do is connect with some of the people in zomato ask them up for referrals like if they can refer you out in the sd role so probably for me what happened was i applied for uh, i wanted to apply for some x company i got connected with some people some folks in Link- linkedin and what they did was they took my resume and referred me over there so i got a direct call for these 12 job roles not exactly 12 i'm just giving an quite example so linkedin is a place where you can get connected with different people from different background from different companies you can get jobs linkedin has a job portal where you can search for jobs as a beginner you should be opening out with linkedin uh linkedin these days are the first preference for all the recruiters so just follow out with linkedin now getting back to myself if i was a recruiter then if you don't know about these four things then i won't be even accepting your resume okay whenever i see a resume i recently i have been screening a lot of resume for my uh, company where we get a lot of uh, job uh, jobs applied for so most of the resumes for freshers if there is no examples of linkedin or there is an no link for linkedin or there is no link for version control where they have just mentioned in the skills that they know about version control that is also just fine or they should be knowing about database so these three things mostly that is db db uh, git and linkedin these are the three things that mostly all of the recruiters are looking for these days you should be knowing about linkedin you should be giving a link in your resume then uh you should be knowing about db in db you can just learn about sql or no sql or uh, particularly you can learn about databases cassandra also mongo db is there whichever you find sql and no sql are query languages which you should be mastering about then we have git and github just learn about them and try to open out linkedin and use it as a social media website and stack overflow is something which you will be getting to know about as much as you code so whenever you code you will be getting a vibe about that you should be using stack overflow so i guess that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed the video hit a like subscribe and make sure to share this with all of your friends so this is skillary and we will meet again in our next video